Good morning. I wanted to share um, today's devotional that I was reading and then also give you the message that the Lord um, gave me. And it is pertaining to the standing wives. This word was specific, specific for wives. But I want to read the devotional first. And I'm reading from my Jesus calling. Um, Bring me the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Take nothing for granted, not even the rising of the sun. Before Satan tempted Eve in the Garden of Eden, thankfulness was a natural was as natural as breathing. Satan's temptation involved pointing Eve to the one thing that was forbidden for her. Hold on to that. The garden was filled with the luscious, desirable fruits, but Eve focused on the one fruit she couldn't have rather than being thankful for the many good things freely available. This negative focus darkened her mind and she succumbed to temptation. <clears throat> when you focus on what you don't have or one, <clears throat> excuse me, when you focus on what you don't have or on situations that displease you, your mind also becomes darkened. You take for granted life, salvation, sunshine, flowers, and countless other gifts from me, the Lord. You look for what is wrong and refuse to enjoy life until that thing is fixed. When you approach me with thanksgiving, the life the light of my presence pours into you, transforming you through and through. Walk in the light with me by practicing the discipline of thanksgiving. Okay, that was today's devotional. But the message that he gave to me pertaining to the God-ordained standards, the wives. Here's the thing. The part about Satan making you focus on the one thing that's forbidden. Many of you are falling into manipulation and control. Um, and what the Lord means by that is... I've said this before, when you have your God ordained spouse, you know, we're connected spiritually. So many times you will feel what they feel. You may be burdened, what they are burdened with. You may begin to grieve what's grieving them, that type of thing. But the thing is, Satan is now manipulating you into now, it's kind of turning into witchcraft because now you're turning your prayers into, Lord, I need to feel them. I need to know what they're going through. I need to know what they're enduring. You're in control. You're taking control back and you're manipulating the situation. What Holy Spirit was um, sharing with me or speaking to me this morning is you are not only going after the one thing that's forbidden from you, because here's the thing, God will... <clears throat> freely put on you what your spouse is going through, right? Even when you don't ask for it, he'll do this. So for one, sometimes he's just letting you know what's going on on the other side. And other times he does it because that's when he needs you to intercede and pray for them. But he freely does this without you even asking. Here's the thing. It is causing you to uh, go through unnecessary suffering. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And fight unnecessary battles. You're going through unnecessary spiritual warfare that isn't even yours. I'm not asking the Lord when I was standing, I'm not asking the Lord to open me up to the demons that my husband was dealing with. No, but you're going, Satan is having you focus on that thing because you're starting to feel like, and I even get messages from many of you that will say like, I can't feel my spouse anymore. You got to understand that sometimes when God doesn't allow you to feel them, sometimes he's protecting you from what they're going through and what they're enduring. But now when you're turning it into a form of witchcraft and praying, God, I need to feel them. Show me what they're going through. Tell me. It's almost like I see in a spirit, like, you know how a sorcerer or a psychic or something will look through like a crystal ball. Show me what they're, what they see. Show me what they're feeling. Show me what they're going through. Show me what season they're in. When you're forcing this and you're in control, you're opening up doors that weren't meant to be open for you. You're fighting battles and up against unnecessary spiritual warfare that was not, um, that was uh, not your portion. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So be mindful of that. Notice when I read in the devotion, it said Eve focused on the one thing instead of all the other things that the Lord had graciously given her. So instead of you saying, well, Lord, you know, I know I'm standing. I know I'm waiting. I My prayer used to be, Lord, show me what you need me to see that my husband may be going through or that he may be enduring. Tell me what you need me to know. I'm not opening the door saying, I need to know what they feel. I need to know what he's going through. I need to know what he's up against. No, because if the Lord wanted me to know, he would get that information to me. He would get that download to me. He would get that revelation to me. He would let me know, hey, at that time, your husband needed you to pray or intercede or stand in the gap for this. But be mindful of that because Satan is now tempting and tricking many women. 
God says this applies to the women. And if I can be honest, especially those that I coach and mentor, I have not had any men come to me saying they need to feel what their wife is going through. They need to feel their judgment. Satan is really playing tricks on the, the wives, on the women. You're even still being in control about your need to know. Remember, I told you once before that need to know got them kicked out of the garden. They needed to know what it was like to have the wisdom of God and know uh, the right, the difference between good and evil. They needed to see what God saw and know what God knew. That need to know will get you kicked out of position. If this is you, repent. Ask the Lord to close any doors that you have opened up. Y'all, stop manipulating the situation because, again, sometimes God is not letting you feel or putting that on you because he's protecting you with what your spouse is going through. He showed it to me like this. Your portion for many of you, the wives, may have been peace, may have been rest. Like, that's your portion. That's what God has blessed you with. That's the blessing that he's commanded upon you. But instead of you uh, reciprocating, not reciprocating, thank you, Holy Spirit. Instead of you receiving that and um, setting, sitting in that, that space, that word that he has given you, you are coming out of position to need to know what he's going through, to need to know what he's feeling, to need to know what he's up against. Oh my gosh, I can't feel my husband. What's wrong? That's starting to sound demonic now. That's starting to sound like witchcraft now. Satan is... is Playing these tricks on the women and many of you are falling for it. Many of you have already come into agreement with it. Many of you, you think you're in the right with it, but it's almost like a rebuke coming from the Lord. Like come out of that place. My portion was rest for you in this hour. My portion was rest for you in this season. But instead you're opening doors and you're taking on spiritual warfare that wasn't assigned to you. You're taking on battles that wasn't assigned to you. You're taking on burdens and just things that they're going through that was not assigned to you. If God is not allowing you to feel your spouse or is not putting that on you, thank you, Jesus. I thank you for that. Lord, if it's something you need me to know about my husband or need me to pray for, you'll get that information to me. But if not, I am not going to go open doors for something that you haven't ordained me to walk in, ordained me to fight, and ordained me to sit in. You're not graced for that. That is not a part of your assignment. That is not a part of your season. Many times it is, and it is when it comes from God. But now when you're manipulating it and you on, on this need to know basis, you're opening up doors that were never intended to be open. You're going through things that were that you were never intended to go through. And thank you, Holy Spirit. You're getting in God's way. Your prayers are being answered with that need to know, but you're getting in God's way. If he took that from you, if he decided, if that was forbidden, if that was the tree that he told you not to eat from, don't go eat from that tree of your need to know what's going on. Lord, I repent. I got out of position. I needed to know. I needed to know. Stop that. Come out of that. Repent for that and get back in position. When God wants you to know something, God is God. He can get whatever information to you that you need to know. But if you don't know it, you're not supposed to know it. We talked about this in another message a couple days ago. So come out of that place. Thank God for what you do have, for what he has done. And stop focusing on that one thing. Like uh, the devotion was saying, you won't even enjoy what I've given you because you're so focused on that thing until that thing is fixed. You won't enjoy life until I bring that man back home. You won't enjoy the rest that I'm giving you until you're restored back to your husband. You're also falling into idolatry with that. So again, that's what the Lord placed upon my heart this morning and share it with me um, in my quiet time with him. But I got to get back to my day. Y'all be blessed and I'll see y'all next time.